Hi, my name's Andrew. Um, this is just a little test um, of this screen capture software, Screencast-O-Matic. Um, I've just discovered um, I wanted something that would allow me to record both the screen and my webcam at the same time. And this appears to do both, so let's see how we go. Let's pop my face down in the corner there. And what we're doing here is taking a look at uh, my website. Um, I'm a big fan of the word feud, the Scrabble clone game. I'm not allowed to say the Scrabble word. Um, I like to play competitively and a really good tactic when you're playing regular Scrabble is to keep track of which letters have been played in a game. Um, so you know, uh, particularly towards the end of a game, um, which tiles are left um, and if the one that you need is still in the bag or in your opponent's rack when the bag's empty. So um, with that in mind, Word Feud's a mobile game. Um, it's not very convenient to carry about a bit of paper and a pen with you. So I thought, okay, I'll do some digging about. And I made a website which replaces that pen and paper. Um, so it's not a cheat site. It doesn't give you... Um, you're not breaking any game rules by using this website. Uh, that was very important to me because I play in a in a tournament. Um, so if you're if you're looking for cheats, then I'm afraid you need to look elsewhere. Okay, um, here's our URL: wordfeud.ardavy.com. I'll stick that in the text down at the bottom. Uh, if I can figure out how to, I'll put a link to it. Um, if not, I'm sure you can manage to type it. The login page just takes your Word Feud um, email address and password. So the ones that you used when you first installed the game and set up your account. I'm going to log in here. And this is the main screen. Uh, what we've got here is a list of all your running games uh, split into ones where it's your turn, ones where it's your opponent's turn. These sections are all expandable and collapsible. Uh, hours of fun playing about with those. A list of recently completed games. Uh, so that's the the ones that are still shown in the app as recently completed. Once they disappear from the app, they'll disappear from this section here. And we'll talk a bit later about the archive section, which is unique to this website. Um, something that I've developed for you guys. So, uh, unfortunately, it's not my turn in any games at the moment. Uh, play's been a bit slow with my opponents, so you're just going to have to take my word that um, these bits all look the same. Uh, there's a, a list of all my active games, opponents' names, and the current score. Um, a little summary of when the game was started, uh, what board type it is, and what... Um, what language it's using. Uh, I only play in international English games, so mine and, and standard board, so that's all mine say. Uh, if I hit the view button now on one of these games, uh, we go into the game detail page. Um, it's worth mentioning, uh, in case you're thinking, oh my god, that website looks terrible. Um, this was designed mainly to be mobile friendly. Um, hence why it's you know it's very narrow. Um, you find if you look at this on your on your mobile device, um, it'll just fit the screen nicely. Uh, so the game detail screen again it shows you the players at the top, whose whose turn it is, and what language the game is in. Um, shows you what tiles are on your rack and the point value of those, and shows you which tiles are remaining. Um, so this is tiles which are in the bag and which are on your opponent's rack. They're all listed here. Obviously at this point we don't know which ones are in the bag and which are on the opponent's rack. But once the bag is empty, um, list, this list tells you exactly what your opponent has in front of them. Uh, that can be really useful towards the end of a, a game if you need to play some blockers or pick up a few extra points. So there's an, another little expansion section here, which shows you the board layout of the game. Um, I thought that was a nice to have. Um, 
yeah, this this has been used by league players. Um, they've given actually given screenshots of my website in uh, dispute resolution. Um, so yeah, that's one one useful feature um, use for the site we have there. And at the bottom, just for completion, um, we've got a list of any chat messages that have been exchanged. Uh, again, that's proven very useful in cases where players have been harassed. Uh, they've been able to provide provide evidence. Um, back when Android phones uh, couldn't all just take a screenshot very easily. So th there you have it. That's the that's the main um, that's the main reason you come in here is to look at this page. Um, so I'm just going to go. Um, uh, the, this reload it doesn't update in real time. So we've got this reload game button. So if um, if you know that there's been a move played in the game, you can just hit that button and it will refresh um, with the most up-to-date data. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to the game list. Recent completed games just will show exactly the same view um, as the active ones, but now you can see what I was what I was saying. Instead of tiles remaining, it says your opponent's rack, because we know the opponent had the letter L left at the end of this game. So yeah, as I mentioned before, we have this archive feature. So, any game which has ever been listed in this recently completed games section is automatically archived. Um, so it gets stored in a database and you can log in and view your entire history of games um, on this website. So as long as, um, if you're a regular user of the website, so if you log in every time you complete a game, before that game disappears from the, the mobile app itself, all your games are gonna be kept here um, for posterity or self-congratulation or whatever, whatever your motives are. Um, Clicking through to the archive, you can see I currently have 895 games in here. Um, there are some users with with way more than that. Um, just scary numbers of, of games in there. And this list is the same format we saw on the main screen. And again, if we click to view any one of these, we get this familiar screen again with our board layout. The only difference is that um, we don't archive chat messages. Um, that was a, a decision I made just for data protection um, sensitivity. And it was also a little bit of a pain in the arse technically, um, but mostly, mostly for the social considerations, honestly. And that's, that, that, that's kind of it. We'll go back to the archive list. Um, this is split into 50 games per page and they are sorted by the start date of the game. So they are kind of in in uh, reverse chronological order with the newest games at the, at the start of the list. Uh, and you can use the next page and previous page buttons to, to flick through. So yeah, we'll go back to, uh, back to our game list now. And all that's really left to mention on this page is uh, the blurb at the bottom. Um, I have a Facebook page set up for the tracker. Um, got a few, a few guests on here, a few visitors. Um, please give us a like um, whenever there, there are new, uh, whenever I add new features, I announce them on the Facebook page. Uh, but also, I'm open to feature requests, so. If there's something you think you would like the site to do, um, and it's something that I'm capable of doing, it's something that's possible, and it doesn't verge on uh, cheating, uh, I'm totally open to do it. This this is a this site was originally developed for my own use, but it's evolved now uh, to be a, a community tool. So please, you you guys, you guys can drive the development of this site. Please do. Um, it gives me interesting things to work on. Um, I've got a hit counter at the bottom here, um, just so I can kind of keep track of how many page views we've had. You can see we're at 1.2 million and a bit at the moment. 
and just this little uh, generation time for each page that loads. Just uh, I, I was having I was having some issues with the web post at some point, and uh, these page times were were massively inflated. So uh, I, I put that in for debug. And I left it in because I quite like it. And of course, the disclaimer: um, the site is and will always be free to use, uh, no guarantees, and uh, I can't promise to make you a better Scrabble player. Unfortunately, I wish I could. Uh, that's uh, that's that, that's kind of us. Um, check it out: um, wordfeud.ardavy.com. Um, I am ardavy. If you fancy a friendly game of Word Feud, um, just just drop me an invite. I'm uh, quite quite receptive, um, as long as you're not going to just resign for no reason halfway through a game. Thank you, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I will hopefully see you in game or on Facebook. Cheers, guys.